My name is Ted Gray. I was incarcerated for a little over 20 years. My name is Jason Bryant, and I was incarcerated for 20 years and three months. Early on, I, I didn't really know much. I, I didn't have an education. Uh, I didn't know what I didn't know. I didn't really understand it at the time, but there was a very visceral, a, a deep experience I had of grief when I realized the impact that my actions had. Well, that was my first like aha moment, had my eyes open to how it is in prison. And what I learned is that because I'm white and because he was black that we weren't going to be able to spend much time together. For the first seven years of our incarceration, we were on a maximum security level four high desert state prison. And we gave ourselves over to this antisocial politic. My dad and I started talking about how we could uh, help bring some kind of programming and, and help build community within the prison. first time that I had ever seen members of different ethnic backgrounds coming together to be in service to the community. Why is our vision is for everyone to have access to leadership development opportunities because it works. When people are exposed to leadership training and personal leadership in particular, they discover that they have agency, they have the authority to make decisions for themselves and create their own future. Out of 30 guys that were, were certified, approximately 15 of them are out in the free world working as professionals. As a formerly incarcerated person, I do this work because I feel it is my duty. I was given the help and assistance I needed to achieve what I have, and now I want to pay that forward. I have been equipped with the ability to help others who are in the situation that I used to be in, and I feel that is where my talents are best utilized. We are equipped, uh, why Ted, Jason, and Matt, and myself are equipped to go back in, is not only because of our love for for people and our commitment to them and our dogged determination to get back in to make a difference in other people's lives, but also that we have 84 years of incarceration experience between the four of us. And with those 84 years of experience, we know what it's like. We know what we're talking about in our craft, in our, in our field, with our transformational work and with our vocational work. We're committed to bringing people a transformation and also a viable income. So that, that gives us a uh, a step ahead of many people who are going in there not knowing what it's like to be in there. We know what it's like to experience uh, what they're experiencing. We succeeded because we were authentic in our commitment to doing the right thing. Even though we weren't perfect, we, we, we continued to honor our commitments and introduce new programs and introduce new ways of thinking and break free from the limited perspectives that had so many guys captive for so long. That's what helped me change my life. People who believed that I was redeemable, 